Hello everyone, my name is Greg Higgins. I am the owner of the Panther Press. You've probably seen me around um, at different sporting events at North Lamar and doing different things with uh, with games and radio broadcasts. Hope everyone's having a great 2018 year. Um, so far, it's hard to believe it's already March. Um, we're almost, uh, almost into the home stretch of the school year, another school year gone. I wanted to um, address you guys just a little bit and let you know the state of the Panther Press. Um, um, we've got some changes going on, and I wanted to let you guys be aware of those changes and let you know what's happening. Um, I've had the opportunity of doing this for quite a while. Um, I think seven years now. Um, I started with eParis um, Extra covering North Lamar, and then a couple years into that, uh, I started... Um, Started the website, uh, pantherpress.net, and covering you guys, covering everything from football to basketball to baseball, softball, um, er everything I could, um, going to the games and writing about them and, and just uh, doing doing all that stuff. Then I started doing the radio broadcast, play-by-play uh, -play for football from four years ago. This has been my fourth season doing that. Um, now I'm doing uh, basketball doing softball, doing some baseball when I can. So got my my hand in all of the, the different places there as well. But uh, you guys may have noticed some changes going on with uh, the Panther Press, and I wanted to let you guys know about those changes. Of course, Adam Routon, many of you guys know Adam. You see him as well. He uh, He jumped on board pretty early with me with the Panther Press. He was uh, very interested in soccer. He was kind of upset that I didn't have any soccer coverage going on on the website. So he made it a point to to cover soccer games. His boy, Zach, was playing soccer. So he was at the soccer games and decided he wanted to do that. And so he's really taken on to soccer. Then he started taking pictures for me and for the website during football season, he stood on the sideline and he took all the pictures and um, just really enjoyed that. And then he started doing a little bit of um, you know, Snapchatting and Facebook Live and Periscope and some of those things from the sideline during the football games. And um, it really became a hit and he loved doing it. Well, then uh, this past se off season, we made the move. Um, I say we, the radio station made the move um, and put him in the booth with me uh, doing the play-by-play -play for the football games. So that left us without a photographer. So in steps Lynn English. And Lynn has jumped on board with us and just been absolutely amazing. Of course, his daughter, Sadie, um, goes to school there and um, is on the soccer team. And uh, she was at the football games with us. So Lynn, Lynn took the camera and took the pictures and just did a phenomenal job. And now he's at the girls' soccer games covering those this year, um, doing a really good job for us as well. Um, Adam is uh, is taking over some of the other soccer duties and and um, we're just kind of making some changes but something I wanted to point your attention to is that you probably have noticed there haven't been as many articles written about sports or about North Tomorrow in general and um, that's not to say that we're doing that because we don't like the school or we're shutting down the website or anything like that that's quite the contrary we're doing it because of change Change is necessary. Change is inevitable. Um, but but something else is that Adam and Lynn, I mean, they they both have daughters that go to North Lamar. So they're pretty active there. They work full-time jobs. They're um, very active in their church. Um, myself, I'm working, you know, I work a full-time job plus doing the radio stuff and doing the other um, the other things that I'm helping out with in the community, um, different boards that I that I help out with. And so it's time consuming to do that. So what we've done is we've decided to change media and really start focusing on video. Thus the reason I'm doing a video right now. We started doing a, the idea of um, Facebook Live. It started with Periscope a couple of years ago. Periscope never really took off, um, but Facebook Live has really taken off and everybody loves Facebook Live. So what we've decided to start doing, and we started doing it during basketball season, and you'll probably start seeing more and more of it, is doing in-game recaps on Facebook Live. 
and even at times Facebook living the game itself. Now there's going to be times we're going to Facebook live the entire game. There's going to be times where we're not going to Facebook live any of the game. And there's going to be times we're going to Facebook live all the game, parts of the game, or things like that. Um, during basketball season, what we were doing is we were trying to Facebook Live some of the game at times. There's sometimes we couldn't, and I'll get into that in just a minute. And then there was other times we were Facebook Living during halftime as a recap of what happened, what was going on. It was just a quick minute or two recap. And then after the game, trying to come back and do another recap. Didn't always work out because of timing, location, things like that. But that's something that we try doing, and we're going to try to do that better in the future. So bear with us on that. We're going to start doing more Facebook Live video. It's, it's awesome that you can read a story about a game. It's even better if you can see the game and experience it. And um, some of you can't get away, whether it's an out of town game, or maybe the weather's bad, or for whatever reason. Maybe you just, you're just you sick, or, or, or you can't get out um, for whatever reason. We wanna bring that experience to you. So what we're gonna try and do is start Facebook Living more of the games and bringing those, video, um, those videos to you in, in that way. We're going to also still do stats and do recaps on Facebook, Twitter, just like we have been. We're going to keep doing the scores. We're going to keep giving you updates on Twitter and Facebook um, for throughout the game and of breaking news when a game has been moved or changed or who, who they're going to be playing in the playoffs. We're going to still do everything we've been doing um, in, in the same capacity. The only difference is we're not going to be writing the articles at, like we were. And, and there again, it's not because we don't necessarily want to or like to. It's more of a time thing. Those things take a, a long time to do. Um, it, it's a co time consuming to, um, to do those articles. And we want to want to bring you the best possible coverage we can. And at this time, we're going to explore this video medium and see what we can do with that. And, and we're going to start um, doing some different things going forward as far as Athlete of the Week video style. Um, so be looking for that. We're going to be doing some some other um, cool things with video. Um, Facebook Live podcast is being reinvented. So it has not died. I, I, I know but all one of you that listen have been wondering about that. But we're not. Um, that has not died. We're, we're reinventing some things. And like I said earlier, change is good. If you stay the same and, and you never evolve, then things die. And that's not what we want. We want this to be an evolving, changing thing. We want to stick with the times. We, we know that kids are always into new stuff. You know, it's Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. But, but, but this isn't just for the kids. This is for the grandparents. This is for the parents. This is for those aunts and uncles that, that can't make the game because they live out of town. We want to help them out. We want to do what we can to provide coverage of their children to them. Um, and, and that's what this is about. We don't do this for, I, I promise you, we're not making any money off of this stuff. We don't do this because we're getting rich off of this. I, I can promise you that. But what we're doing this for is for you. We're doing this for the kids. We're doing this because we want you guys to experience every game and in, in every way possible. And um, like I said, sometimes we're not gonna be able to do every game on Facebook Live. Some of that has to do with radio broadcast. I, I made a um, a decision that it, it, if a game is being broadcast on the radio, we're not going to Facebook Live that game. Um, that's not fair to the radio station. They do have exclusive rights to the games um, to do the radio. I have worked out a deal with them, and I've talked to them, and, and they have um, given me their blessing that if we do want to do um, – Facebook Live on games that they're not there um, do, doing the radio, that's fine. Um, obviously, part of that is I'm doing the radio whenever I am there, so it's hard to do Facebook Live with that also. But but they do have sponsors, and they have people that pay for those rights. And so if they're doing a radio broadcast, we're not going to Facebook Live those games. We may do recaps. We may do... Um, uh, we'll do some video in-game recaps or in-game um, analysis, if we will. We'll still do the Twitter. We'll still do all the stats and everything, like I said. But um, just to give you guys an idea of where we're at, what we're doing, um, Adam and Lynn have been great with this. They've they've been doing a ph phenomenal job with the Facebook Live um, 
soccer season is going and if you haven't caught up with that you need to catch up with that uh, Adam and or Lynn especially has just been knocking it out of the park with Facebook live and Adam as well um, some of the goals they're capturing some of the moments are priceless and that's what we want we want you guys to experience that and then you can go back and watch it. you can go back and share it with your friends you can go back and do all that stuff obviously it's free we're not we don't charge anything for that so there's an update on what's going on I want you guys to hit us up on Twitter um, and, and Facebook Facebook, all that information should be on the screen. And um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, as always, you can reach out and contact us if you need to. Um, you can contact me through the um, through the website. You can contact us uh, on on tw uh, Twitter or Facebook. You can um, direct message us, any of us, and, and we'll answer you. Um, we do have a Facebook group that we've started as well. Um, so you can interact with us during games and things like that. We'd love to hear from you. Um, as always, we do this for you guys. So hope you guys have a great night, great weekend. Stay, uh, stay safe, stay dry. And um, we'll talk to you next time on the Panther Press.